Hey guys, so I've been slacking on making a video for quite a bit of time now. I've been meaning to get to it, but my camera's been dead. And I don't really like having to use my laptop. I've also gone through a lot of um, personal problems. I'm working on getting my name changed. I've had a lot of family in and out of this house. A lot has happened. There's been uh, an accident. I really want to update you guys on where I am. As you can see, my hair is a lot different since the last time I had a video. I really killed it. I have a little bit of frosted tips, but that's mostly just natural now. I have more facial hair now. I shaved this part. So this video is gonna be a mess because I'm a mess. There's been a lot of things going on. So much has happened in the past few months. I recently went through a breakup. I've also found some really nice cool people to talk to, um, mainly Chantel and Emily and Kyra, all of you, you're all wonderful humans that have made it so life has been bearable and I haven't wanted to die. I've been working, doing silt screening, and that takes a lot of physical labor as well as working on the computer and stuff, so I'm constantly going back and forth with the squeegee. That is what it's called. Put a lot of designs on different shirts and then had to fold them, put them back on the rack, and then, you know, bring them through and then do them again, but on the back with a different design. It's been fun and I like it. It's it's what I've wanted to do. I'm not sure where I want to go with it, if I want to make it a career out of it or if I just, if I want to try, you know, something else. I think being a counselor would be pretty cool because I know they get a bad rep for a lot of things, or a therapist, uh, the counselor or therapist, whichever one happens. I've spent most of my childhood and my adult life, I guess, wanting to do some pretty horrific things to myself because I felt like I was responsible for that. It wasn't my fault. I blamed myself for a lot of things that I shouldn't have blamed myself for. Honestly, now that I've realized that and that I put it behind me, and have had help with with it from friends, even when they don't realize it. Nobody should have to feel like they're drowning, whether they're in the water or they're on land. It, they shouldn't have that burden to carry. It's not your fault, okay? It's not. You are worth so much more than you give yourself credit for. You might have those voices in your head telling you, oh, you're not pretty, oh, you're ugly, but you're not. Like, I can look at you and think, wow, your eyes are the most beautiful. Your eyebrows are great. I'm insecure about my eyebrows. I hate my eyebrows. But there are people who love my eyebrows, and because they, they tell me that, I know that they're right because they see my face more than I see my face. I know people say that looks don't matter, and they don't. But to ourselves, they do matter. I can tell you from experience that yeah, there might be, there might be some pudge. So? Someone out there is gonna love that about you. You're gonna have insecurities that someone is gonna like find the most attractive. Like your laugh. Your laugh is the most beautiful laugh that I've ever heard. You might not like it, but that's a thing for me. Like that's, I love that about you. Getting up out of bed, breathing, if that's all you did today, I'm proud of you. Because that takes a lot. It really does take a lot to get out of bed and say, I'm gonna continue living. I'm going to breathe throughout this day. I'm going to be so happy that I'm alive. And even if you're not happy that you're alive, but you're still out there and breathing and trying to live your life through this, I am so proud of you because it takes so much to stay in this world. And you deserve to know that someone is proud of you. Whether it's me, whether it's your mom, your dad, your uncle, your aunt, your grandma, your grandpa, anyone. You deserve to know that we are proud of you for being you. I know people tell you that you should love yourself. The reality of it is you're probably not going to love yourself because even if we could change the things that we're insecure about, even if we could change what we don't like about ourselves, if we could change that, we would just find more things that we wouldn't like, okay? This is not, there is no end all. You don't have to change yourself to make yourself better. You don't have to learn to love yourself. You have to learn to accept who you are and what you are and how you look and how you are. For example, I'm really feminine. I was born a girl and now I'm not. I never really have been a girl, but I have feminine tendencies like this. I do this a lot. That is seen as feminine and that's okay. People might just think I'm a very gay man. That's okay as well. It doesn't 
matter because those are things about me that other people will like. Like my sass levels are usually up here when they probably should be down here. Me without those wouldn't be me. I'd be someone totally different. Accept yourself, accept your flaws, accept all that you are. With that acceptance, you can learn to love yourself. You can learn to love everything about you. The, the real truth here is your cat's not gonna care. But if you're anything other than the media's social norm, your cat's still gonna love you. Your dog is still gonna love you. Did you feed your dog? Did you feed your cat? Oh, look at that. <laughs> they already love you. I want you to get up and breathe. If you've done that, I'm proud of you. If you've gone out, hung out with friends, hung out with anyone, I'm proud of you. If you just laid in bed all day because you couldn't handle all of the anxiety and stress that's in your life right now, I'm still proud of you. You're still breathing and you're fighting this battle. You're fighting this war. If all of us together work hard enough to love each other and bring each other up rather than tear each other down, we're gonna learn self-respect. We're gonna learn all of these nice things that we just won't have a problem with anxiety or stress or self-loathing. We're just gonna learn that these are things that we need to work on. I love you and I am proud of you. No matter what you're going through, I'm here for you. If you text me, if you call me, you Skype me, if you FaceTime me, any of that, if you need me, I will be there. For some reason, we've had a falling out. I'm still gonna be there for you. It just might take a while for me to like, be okay with that. Everyone's going through something, so don't be an asshole. What if we learn not to be assholes to each other? Can we try that? I don't know about you, but anything that's happened in my past has happened. It's in the past. I'm gonna quote Rafiki. You can either run from the past or you can learn from it. And I'm gonna choose to learn from it because I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't have the experiences that I've had. I wouldn't be the same person sitting here if I were too focused on the past. If I'm focused on the now, I can get I can get through so much because I can recognize that the past was there. My homework for you is I want you to look in the mirror before you go to bed and I want you to tell, tell yourself three things that you love about yourself. And I want you to do this every night until you believe them. And I want them to be different. So if the first night you look at yourself in the mirror, sitting there, and you go, one thing I like about myself is my eyebrows. One thing I like about myself is my sense of style. One thing I like about myself is how good of a friend I am, and then I'm done. And the next night I can look myself in the face and go, one thing I like about myself is, I have a nice smile. One thing I like about myself is, I'm loyal. One thing I like about myself is, one thing I like about myself is, that sentence, that right there, is gonna help you get through so much.